Okay guys, so you guys saw me cutting this on a time lapse. Probably wondering what I'm gonna do with it. Well, I'll tell you. I'm gonna forge a sword. Okay, so I've got that heating up in the forge. Sorry, the camera's shaking. There. Got my sword heating up in the forge. I'm not sure what I'm gonna turn it into. All I know is it's gonna be a sword, dagger, or knife. It's gonna be one of those, or maybe a machete. Um, uh, that's the thing with blacksmithing. You never know. Well, most of the times you don't know what it's going to turn into. Um, so it's heating up in the forge right there. Uh, I'm not going to really worry about getting it super hot because this is not going to be um, a sword I'm going to go into battle with, most likely, hopefully. Um, it's going to be a sword that's going to go on my wall. But I'm still going to heat quench it, that kind of stuff. So let's jump right in. Also, the reason why I'm doing this is Alex Steele has a one day sword video you should check out right up there. Um, and I'm going to try and do the same thing. So the time is 104. So I got a really late start. So I got to get going. So I'm working with this piece of pipe I found in the scrapyard. I tested it. For some reason, it's high carbon. So, um, it should be making a good sword material. I don't know the alloy it is, um, but it should make a good sword. I'm just trying to flatten it out now since it is tight. So this is the type of blade I'm going to try it for. I think it's called a stiletto. stiletto. Um, it has this curvy blade. That's what I'm going to try to do. So one of the hardest parts of blacksmithing is being patient enough to wait between heats. So what I've gotten really good at is the hammer flow. Just a fun little exercise. Keeps you warmed up. Like I said, it's kind of dangerous. Be careful. But when you've been doing blacksmithing like me, you'll get it. Damage your camera though. So make sure it's a camera you don't care about. Okay guys, so we're about halfway through the forging process. Just wanted you guys to see how it's looking. I started smacking against the horn like that, and it's really starting to take shape. And how far are we? Oh nice. Okay. It's only 139. So I started at 104 I think. That's 35 minutes, and I've already got a piece of the Nice. We're down to the last bend. It's looking real good. Okay, guys. Now it's time to grind and cut off the excess. Put on our handle. Sharpener up. It looks pretty cool. 
and I didn't heat quench it because I want it to have flexibility and I don't want it to break or anything but it keeps it that it doesn't bend when I smack it so it doesn't look good. I'll just heat quench the tip and then yeah okay guys so now we're going to go into some grinding I'm just going to be using my flap disc always wear a respirator whenever you're grinding and I'm just going to try and trim it up bring you guys along Guys, I've knocked off all the scale. It's really starting to take shape. What do you think? Oh, I really like it. Feels really good in the hand. Okay, guys, it's onto some hand sanding. Let's get this done. Okay guys, don't laugh, but I'm using tile as my hand, handle spacers. Literally tile. I got a bunch of these, cut them up. Uh, these are from Home Depot. The samples that you get, it's going to be awful thin, but then I'm going to put something on top of it. I don't know if I will though. But um, it really matches well with how the blade's looking. Don't worry, the blade's not sharpened yet. But um, yeah. I just need to wait for it to dry. We'll see how this goes. Uh, the time is, I think it's 2.05. So I've been able to do the glue up, um, shaping, forging, all that in under an hour. A little bit over. One minute over, if you don't want to be technical, but I think that's pretty good still. Uh, this is not like the stiletto dagger that Alex Steele made not that quality but for making it within an hour i think this is pretty good quality tell me what you guys think in the comments below so this is going to be a hidden tank construction what that means is you won't be able to see the attachment thing, which is going to be this i modified it you won't be able to see that it'll be hidden in the hand material in my cage in my case it's going to be oak in there, it will look like this. And you won't be able to see any of the tank. So, what I need to do right now is I need to drill out the holes so that it will, the blade will fit in there easily. Um, I also found out I was calling this blade completely wrong. This is called a Chris K R I S. It's a German show sword. Um, not really used in combat that much, which is good because mine's not really going to be used in combat that much. But, um, yeah, it's a show sword. So I'm going to draw out the holes and we'll get done. Okay, I've got it all fit together like I want it. Now it's time for the final glue up. So I made out this little guard. It's real quick. Simple. I'm just going to fill this up. Make sure there's nothing in there. Put some glue in. Okay, it's got a little... i got to open it up. Quick. Okay, so I just used a little toothpick to get down in there. Um, let's glue it up. So I'm just gonna, I took off the little cap, using this little piece of metal, I'm just gonna pull it 
put some directly in there. Not messing with the nozzle. See if I can just pour it in there. If at all possible. Because we need a lot of glue for this. Okay. There we go. We really just want to fill up this entire thing as much as possible. So I'm even gonna dump a little bit of help down there. need to put the guard on first. Like so. There we go. And now, put the Okay, and then this is meant to be hammered into it. Okay, so I hammered on the handle. Guard fits nicely. Feels really good in the hand. So now I'm gonna do a little hand sanding on this and a little sharpening on the blade, polish it up nice. And then I'm gonna burn the handle. So you guys, that's my signature. <laughs> the signature mark I do it on almost every blade now. Um, and yeah, then we'll have a completed Chris sword dagger thing. Okay, got my sandpaper. I'm using 220 grit. I think it'll be perfect grit. Got my piece here. Here we go. So the glue's set. Blade looks good. Step back so you can see it. I burned the handle. It looks amazing. I've not sharpened it yet. I need to do a little bit more grinding on it, but there we go. Fun blade. Uh, sorry, there's a little bit of a glare. <laughs> but that's it. Now I need to do some grinding, which I'll show you guys. Um, and then that will be a completed project. Completed Chris. Show blade. That's another one for the collection, guys. What do you think? I got my katana, got my Arabic sword, now I got a German show sword. I'm starting to make quite a collection. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video, me making that Chris Decker into this one. Our handle, guard, and all. I would say that's a success. As you can see, it's a little bit bigger my drawing but it looks the same um, the whole process took me four and a half hours I started at 104 and I got off at 706 I know 736 but the drawing time for the glue I used was three hour set so I just took three hours off of that and yeah I'll be closer than to four hours but I'll give myself a little half hour of leeway. What do you guys think? You like this sword I made? If you do, please tell me. <laughs> Love to hear from you guys in the comments. I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. Sorry for the shaky cam, but I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. If you want to do a Chris Dagger yourself, I suggest doing a slapping with the sword against the horn instead of trying to hammer. It bends less. And um, yeah. Comment, subscribe, you know the drill. Ring the bell and push like.